Hello, let me go over the final project photo submission. So this is your final project homework. And um, first you're gonna wanna watch this video. And the goal of this assignment is to showcase your photographic skills acquired from this class. Creatively, you will be challenged to work in a manner that shows you can develop an idea and create images that meet your photographic objectives. Your creative process will showcase photographs that exhibit the skills we have discussed in this class. Those skills being composition, color impact, and color scheme. Creating a theme within your project and the ability to attract your viewer. You will be working with a series of photographs to explore subjects, concepts, and themes. So what basically what I'm asking you to do is create a photographic project, a series of four to six images, which means the images need to work together as like a small body of work. And I want you to use one of the learning topics we've covered as kind of like a foundation for a source of inspiration. So you could go back and revisit the visual analysis um, learning unit that we covered. You could check out and revisit the photography genres, the history of photography. Maybe you want to go back through and think about some of the concepts that were discussed in the history of photography learning unit or the artists that were discussed. So basically, I'm asking you to take the time with the final learning unit and just revisit some of the concepts that we've studied. Maybe you wanna do something with the diptychs and triptychs for your final project, or go back and think about music and photography. But you're gonna use these learning units as kind of like a, a, a guide or a source of inspiration. So you're gonna submit four to six images and then you're gonna respond to the following prompts with a minimum of 700 words. Remember, this is your final project. You don't have a final exam. You just have these three final um, homework projects to submit. So um, you're gonna embed the four to six photographs. Remember that there needs to be a theme to these photographs. So one subject matter, one idea, one concept, um, but they all need to kind of work together. So you might choose a genre. Let's say you're gonna do landscape photography and then your images would reflect that genre of landscape photography. You're gonna give a title to each of your photographs or the series as a whole and what size you might wanna print them. And I'd like for this to be in inches, not in pixels. So I can really get a sense of, oh, it's, 60 inches by 80 inches or whatever you decide. I want you to tell me what genre your photo photographs represent. So you're going to want to go back to the photography um, genre lecture and decide like, oh, it's fine art portraiture or it's photojournalism street photography. So you're going to be able to tell me what genre you feel your photographs represent. And then you're going to discuss what your theme is. So what is the theme of this project that you've created? And tell us a little bit about that. Also, I'd like to hear you talk a little bit about is the message you're communicating, are you trying to communicate that to the head, like logically to your viewer or to the heart, the emotional side of the viewer? So just like, how does that stand? So, you know, you can approach that. Let's say you want to do food photography. Well, you could do food photography that makes someone really hungry. So that might be more from an emotional perspective. Or you could do a series of sort of set up images that are very graphic. And so that might just be more of a design and more of a logical project. So those are things that I'd like for you to think about. You're also going to want to discuss the quality of light. So I've included a link here that takes you back to a reminder of the information studied in the quality of light learning unit. Cause I want you to be able to discuss, um, you know, just did you create the light? Did you respond to the light? How were you using the, that idea of the quality of light? Discuss the time of day. And if the time of day affected like the lighting or the color and, your, and the feeling in your photographs. Cause we did talk a lot about how lighting can really affect the overall mood of your images. So I want you to just kind of reflect a little bit on, um, you know, how did the lighting 
lighting benefit your photographs or did, was it distracting from the subject matter and the message that you were trying to visually explore? And then I also want you to reflect on the composition and design. So I've given you a link here to go back to revisit um, the 10 keys of composition. So I'd like for you to use this language. Like I'd like to hear like um, with my final project, I was doing landscape photographs and I was really working with rule of thirds and repetition or rule of thirds and simplicity. Or, you know, again, because we've talked a lot about how these compositional styles can sometimes blend together in one photograph. So reference that in your um, discussion post and then explain why you worked with these compositional designs. So explain to me, I wanted to use perspective and rule of thirds in my landscape photographs. And just reflect again on if you felt like the composition and design that you created either enhanced or distracted from the subject matter. And then finally, um, with our final projects, you're also going to be doing a peer evaluation. So I've included the critique format. And again, I want you to apply this to your own photographs and then also apply it to your classmates. So really going back and when you're evaluating your own photographs and your classmates, you know, deciding on what images to submit in that whole process. How did you select the photographs? And, you know, share how, you know, you picked one photo over another. So maybe referencing the critique format and reviewing all these different questions might be helpful for you in the process of thinking about what four to six images do you want to submit. So, Again, what we're overall doing is you know, obviously you're going to want to watch this video so you can understand the details for the homework requirements for your final project. But you're basically going to be picking one of these learning units and then making a series of four to six images. So I hope that that makes sense. But of course, um, please send me an email if you have any questions or concerns about the final project. Thanks.